Yeah, I mean, Utah State, there, you, you can tell that that group's playing with a lot of confidence right now. And they came out from the get go and, and just kind of dictated how that baby was going to go. Um, second quarter got away from us, second half competed better, um, did some good things, made some changes, kids battled. Uh, but um, just offensively, we've got just a lot of, just a myriad of issues right now that um, tough to win when we don't shoot the ball very well and, and play the way we're playing. Saw them kind of control the, the boards from when we started it. I mean, is there something that, that these girls can do to kind of limit that? Or you can, you, you know, whether it's more fight or, you know, you really got to get engaged and involved um, on the glass with a team like Utah State. Really, every night you do, but they're very talented on the glass with Duffesy and in 12. I mean, those are, they've got bigger, stronger, more athletic bodies than us, and they really, when they put the effort and the determination behind it, they just, uh, they made us look silly on the glass at times. You brought up Duffesy. She ended up not even being their leading scorer. Was it kind of a surprise to you to see them rely on Bassett so much? Really? Well, we, you know, Bassett's had some really good games this year. I mean, she's got a, a you know, big time jump shot, and she elevates a really nice athlete. Um, and so, she she converted a lot early, and um, they made baskets, you know. And so if that's the case, you got to counter on the other end. And so I thought offensively, we were pretty poor the first half, as just far as our execution, doing what you're supposed to do, whether setting screens, that sort of thing, um, and not overly organized, uh, to be honest with you. So uh, you got to you got to score the ball at this level. You got to score it, and we had too many empty possessions, um, and they they obviously converted, and we dug ourselves too big a hole in that second quarter. It just looked like you had uh, maybe a little bit more energy, a little more fight offensively tonight, kind of getting to the rack a little bit. Was that a, a, you know, a focus of yours, and um, did, did it just kind of feel good to find a basket some more tonight? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm like looked at to be like the main facility facilitator of the team to bring the spark, you know, and I'm looked to to score. So, I mean, that should be my mindset every single game. And tonight I just felt like I, you know, kind of played a little bit more like me. So. What exactly do you guys feel like is your biggest weakness so far in Mountain West? I mean, you guys have been close, but you haven't been able to pull out many wins. What do you think is your biggest weakness so far? Uh, I think it's the mindset. We need to think next play, next play, not have a snowball effect. And we got to make shots. <laughs> We got to sink them, especially the easy shots, you know, either layups, jump shots, or threes. We got to we gotta hit them. Is that kind of difficult, you know, just knowing that it comes down to making the open shots, not necessarily doing things a whole lot differently, but just, you know, taking care of those opportunities when they arise? I mean, I, I believe, like, the whole play, like, if you miss, it's kind of difficult. But then, again, you got to always, like, mindset, we got to be, like, next play, next play. Like, okay, next one's going in. So, I mean, it's always difficult when you miss a shot that you know you should make. So. Ryan, what was the hope? Just to get them to play harder, you know, just to, to see who, who really wants to compete. And um, that was that was part of it. Um, and then just body on body, you know, maybe maybe helping the rebounding area a little bit. Um, but, uh, you know, and that's we, we aren't a bad man team, to be honest with you, but our depth really hurts there. You know, teams when we, you know, they could drive and we've been in foul trouble. Uh, a lot, but the kids did a, a, a decent job there that that second half. Um, but it just it's both ends really. And offensively, it's just it's been a struggle. And um, we've got to shoot better. We've got to find better shots. And um, give Utah State credit; they made it tough on us tonight. When your two leading scorers can buy great points, does that kind of signal what type of day you're about to have? Yeah, I mean. It, it, we don't have we don't have a our margin for errors is, is we've talked about this is really really small, and I thought we did a better job taking care of the ball tonight. You know six turnovers, so we didn't create a lot of offense for them. You know, but you can look at other areas, the glass or, or what have you. But yeah, Lauren Molly really need to be engaged and involved, and, and you know we've got to screen better for them and you know make better decisions when they're open. They've got to have the ball on time on target that sort of thing and. It's just, uh, again, our margin for error isn't very good or isn't very large. And, uh, you know, if those two kids are going to struggle and maybe not get the shot attempts, I mean, we don't have 
the punch to to keep up with some of these teams. Grace, how much pressure did you feel with Molly and Laura both struggling? Did you almost feel like you had to shoulder the load? Um, <clears throat> no. <clears throat> I mean, every game it just come to like, I got to do my job, and you know, if I do my job, then I rely on my other teammates to do their job. So. Molly has been here for for a while now, and you know, looking at four straight losses for you. I mean, as a leader, you know, veteran wise, at least, is there uh, ways that you can kind of get these? I mean, yeah, I think um, like what, what we've been doing is like after every dead ball or whatever situation happens, we kind of just huddle up and we just have to talk about like what just happened, what are we going to do next, not just dwell on it or anything like that. Um, just little things like that. Like I said, it's like a mindset thing. So as long as we can pick each other up and get each other out of it, or if maybe you're not having the best night, help hype somebody else up, get their energy going. and We feed off each other really well. But that also means, like, if someone's very negative, like, we might have negative energy, too. So we just need to – just always positive. Outside of that second quarter, you guys played them pretty even. Is there any moral victory in knowing that, hey, outside of this one quarter, we were pretty even with Utah State? I mean, yeah, I just think it's – like, we can – like, we're a good team. We just need to do the little things, you know what I mean? Yeah, we don't believe in moral victories here. I mean – um, it's not what we're about. Um, it's just completing, you know, competing every play with with every ounce of energy and effort and and concentration and intelligence that you have. And we just we have too many too many lapses. Bottom line, and so you know we're just a we're a fragile basketball team. We are. We just are. Um, but uh, in Mountain West play, you've got to. Yeah, this is a tough one, and I hope it hurts. I hope our kids don't like losing. You know, don't get used to it. But you, you've got to, you've got to move on. We've got Nevada on Wednesday night, and uh, we got to get improve. Obviously, in in a lot of areas, we'll just keep trying to get better. But you cannot play bad Wednesday because you got your tail whipped tonight.